Well, progress is being made on the construction of a new event center on Buffalo's Outer Harbor. Channel 2's Dave McKinley visited the site today off Furman Boulevard and has an update on the $13 million project, which promises to open up a section of the waterfront where there's been no public access for generations. Kate, thousands of cars can see this every day whizzing by on Route 5, but from a distance. But it's only when you get up close like we did today in an area still closed off to the public that you get an idea how far things have progressed since that autumn day in 2021 when dignitaries took ceremonial swings with sledgehammers to begin converting an abandoned warehouse into an events pavilion that'll be able to accommodate crowds of 5,000 or so for concerts and other happenings at the Outer Harbor. We're about 70% complete. Erie Canal Harbor Development Corporation Senior Director of Design Mark Wendell says the site weathered the winter storms fairly well. Even the Seiche, mostly because it sits above a 12-foot wall at the water's edge with a break wall in the distance. And the winds of winter pretty much whistled through its steel girders, which will remain as part of its overall design. We'll get some finished painting on the structure as well, along the surface of the slab as well. So it's going to be dressed up. It's going to look ready for when this opens for the public to come and see. As it all starts to take shape, he says they're not the only ones getting excited. To be honest with you, with the concerts, uh, the one the biggest interest is we're starting to get interest and phone calls coming from um, promoters that are interested in a permanent site for a concert or event venue. The thing is, as much progress as has been made, they won't be holding any concerts here for at least another year. More about why coming up at 6. Dave McKinley, Channel 2 News.